Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Homesick episode 84 to 85. Let's go ahead and get started. That's a horrible plan. It's a genius plan. You're just a hater, but it'll work. I'm quite confident about it. What if it doesn't? All right, Danny Lion. That's the type of energy that's going to get you killed. The moment you start doubting the plan, you've already lost. A plan B is necessary if the plan doesn't go the way you want it. Everything goes the way I want it. But let's say there's an unexpected obstacle. We'll improvise then. Improvise. Improvise? Survival instinct. Trust me. Improvising works better than a plan B. Well, that's if you're... Your will to escape is strong. <laughs> this, if not, then we can both wait for death in each other's arms while begging for the Lord to rescue us. Or rot alone in our cells, drowning in our thoughts. Either way, let's commit to the plan. it only work if you're willing to play along with me. <sighs> hey, where are you taking him? Do you even need to ask? My bet, he's not coming back. Hey, what's a rush to the experiment and unconscious man? Take me instead. Adana orders. We can't leave him. Adding him to the plan is risky. I, re I recommend we abandon him. I won't go along with your plan without him. Come on, he's not going to make it even if you try to save him. Plus, he's extra baggage. We'll get caught in no time. The plan doesn't go without him. Listen here, Con Swab. I don't care what kind of character development you went through, but now's not the right time to play hero. We have a plan, and we stick to that plan. No exceptions. Then you won't be needing me. Uh, why are you making this shit so difficult? Wake up, dumbass. You don't actually care about that guy, so just stop with the bullshit. That's gross as hell. Ugh. You're making my skin crawl. Fine, fine. I need a minute to think. Tomorrow night. Wanna rescue that orangutan? We'll do it tomorrow night. But I can't guarantee that he'll be alive when we get to him. You owe me big time. We'll see. If we're doing this, there's a chance not everyone's going to make it out alive. But I won't let that happen. I can't. Just because their values are different from ours doesn't make them bad people. Do you understand? So, they're interfering, interfering with our values. It doesn't matter if they're good people or not. It still makes them our enemy. If they get in the way of our progress, I'll kill them. Since you won't tell me anything about your Merc, answer me this. The antidote will save the world, right? If it can turn every infected beings in possessions of a merc back to ordinary people, what's going to happen to the mercs? They disappear. What else do you think is going to happen? That's what I was afraid to hear. After we save Guinea, then what? What do I do at that point? What do we do? Get it over with and fuck off. They're here. Sorry. May, I re may you repeat that? They're here, sir. A group of kids are here to meet you. And they'd like to negotiate. Homesick. Alright, guys. Sorry, may you repeat that? 
They're here, sir. A group of kids here to meet you. And they like to negotiate. Huh? That's a big facility. Homesick. There's Ogre. Whoa. I didn't expect people. Uh, for, for me? Mm. I didn't even get to say thank you. It reminds me of an episode or like a season of The Walking Dead when, you know, the original group that we follow um, stumble upon this place and there's a man named the president, you know? If you guys watch The Walking Dead, you guys, you guys kind of know what I'm ta <sighs> trying to say, but it kind of reminds me of that. <clears throat> Welcome. Please, take a seat. T? Where's my cousin? Straight to business, aren't you? Does nobody fancy tea and small talk anymore? You look like shit. Smell like one, too. All thanks to Bella. Oh, don't be dramatic. You allowed yourself to be treated like that. Both of you. You're absolutely right. It's all my fault. Settle down, children. And about your cousin, Kendall, he's safe with us. Prove it. I need to see him right now. Kit, that boy is still trapped, desperately trying to gain back control of his body. Are you sure you want him in this state? I don't care. Give him to me. As you wish. But what do I get in return? Your man. That's the deal. No, no, no. Oak isn't part of this deal. Huh? He will be of no use to us in exchange. I want one of your three. The one who savagely defeated Oak. The one who managed to heal him back. Huh? Huh? You want me? I'm his cousin. I'll swap places with him. No, just, just take me. What are you guys... Selfless friends. But I'm afraid that can't happen. You both are merely human. Nothing this community needs. However, you can stay here. On the other hand, she will contribute something special to this community. Our morning glory. Wait, wait, wait. There must be some kind of mistake, right? You'd rather want her than me? Me? Are, I, are you sure? Am I not worthy enough to work for you anymore? Throwing out Oak is kind of a waste, don't you think? I suppose. Guards, escort, Alc, uh, escort Oak to his cell. He needs to reflect on himself to do better in the future. Wait, no, sir, please. You know I don't do well in the dark alone. Please, just give me one more chance. I'll be better, I... I don't expect you to agree to the deal instantly, and I doubt your friends will approve to it right now. If you'd like, you're all welcome to stay until the decision has been made. What do you say? We're not staying. Oh, but you have to. You've come all the way here. At least stay the night. And why should we trust that you people won't do anything to us? Because we keep our word. The gates are open if you wish to leave, but you will have your friend. Make the deal with us and your friend will be free. It's just as simple as that. You, how dare you put me in here? I'm your commander. Let me out of this instant. No way, they really locked up the tree. What did you get do to get in here? Call your boss daddy a lazy bum? Shut up, you baboon. I can't believe I'm even breathing the same musty air as you. What are you doing here? I thought you didn't make it. Wait, did you bring rain here? It came for the other guy, not you. 
They were gonna trade their friend back, but Adon wanted the purple hair chick instead of me. I'm actually speechless. Purple hair. This can't be good. If Adon finds out what Rain is capable of, I'm afraid what he might do. Homesick. <sighs> this is such a good read. Okay, well that's a cliffhanger. Not too bad, but dang. We have to wait. I have to wait because I kind of record this, you know, spaced out. Uh, all right. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed the way I read this and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!